And when you create your identity, where you are already exclude yourself, if you are universal identity, then you are yourself. Then you create your own identity with your values, with your powerful values that you have from your home country, and you adopt the values from Europe. And they are they should be very constructive because we all are here to do better for Europe, for do our countries, and for doing better for our coming generations. As Ali said, that yes, we do need to have focus on the voice of um, ethnic minorities because they are they are the uh, future of the Europe, and they should understand. They should understand. There are, of course, they have many issues regarding uh, national policies, and uh, wherever the European policies are, then they are altered to the uh, according to the national. Then it doesn't suit that. That we have in Denmark now point system. People are really discussing that, that how the point system is coming there. And some people are more in focus than the others. Now, East European people, when they come to, to Denmark, uh, ethnic minorities who have been just living there many, many, many years, they feel there is discrimination because East Europeans are coming because they are European uh, citizens, but they are not getting the same as because they have been serving their national country that much. So successful integration, somebody is saying here that is this only uh, the migrant's responsibility? Uh, and uh, is it based on the European policies or uh, national policies which are different from European? And well integrated people are feeling, <laughs> like I said, that they are being discriminated. So if you have a focus on growth, then I think I, uh, I will say it again, I said that in the former key meeting, that this is the mindset. This is the change of mindset. This is the development of personality. We all need to have another, what do you call that in the uh, in Okay. Uh, point of view. And uh, we need to start from from this program perspective and perspective. Uh, um, Challenge and the idea and the One of our fundamental values is ladies first, mm -hmm. but the other one is ladies always have the last word. So, but now she spoke first, I will, I will see. Well, I'll, 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 maybe she will reply to that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you see. <laughs> first of all, I would like to thank the speakers and uh, uh, you, uh, colleagues, to, uh, with, your, with your contribution um, from, from the audience. And I'm very happy to have this debate at, at this uh, fourth forum uh, because we didn't have this before. This was uh, what the civil society asked for and what we got today. I'm, however, still disappointed that the highest representative of the Commission left us before the debate, which normally was not, was not the plan. And in terms of identity, the first thing, and I think I would like to, I would like to share with you a personal experience. A few weeks ago, I was at a conference. And somebody asked me, where are you from? And I said, well, I'm from Belgium. Uh-huh, yes, but your parents, where are they from? I said, they're also from Belgium. And the person was confused. <laughs> so how far can you go with our identity? And my parents are from Belgium. Maybe I have Spanish and Austrian and German and French and Dutch blood in my veins if I go back in uh, generations. But uh, um, yes, I am not. Um, sorry. Um, is indeed, as I was mentioned a few speakers, a cultural or a social um, issue. Actually, it's about the integration of third country national minorities. It's about the social cohesion of our society, and I think that's a big challenge for society that um, integration is part of the global policy or global or wider policy which uh, tries to strengthen the, the social cohesion in our in our society which is uh, necessary now. The second uh, I would like to make is that uh, Mr. Stahl mentioned that uh, we don't speak about sex working anymore. That's correct. But we still speak about the whole society. So if you're not a guest anymore, still the whole the whole society. <laughs> <laughs> So this is 
why we uh, we prefer to speak about for the time being about receiving the society to receive in practical but also in uh, economic and, and uh, social terms, but who really you not know, yet really is a welcoming society. And so please let's not talk about those societies anymore, but about receiving society turning into open welcoming society. And the strong commitment for that uh, by the regime is crucial and it has to be promoted. And that's why um, I'm happy that when we will talk about these modules, that one of these modules is the strong involvement of receiving society. And, and I'm very happy with what Mr. Nielsen said uh, in the beginning, that the basis for all of this should be the fundamental respect of human rights which is something we should never forget if we talk about fundamental values. Well, I think this is one that can count, and this should be indeed the basis for our um, for our education um, uh, policies. A last word name on, on minorities. Yeah. Indeed, we have many minorities in Europe, and I think it all has to do with how you identify yourself. To which group do you belong? In my I learned that um, you do not belong to a group. You are a member of different societies. And according to the role you're playing, you are a member of this or that group. So you might be a member of a very small minority, and then you might be a member of a big minority. Now, I think there's only one majority in Europe if we talk about uh, belonging to a group. And I think this majority is the women. I think women are one majority in Europe, which is more than 50%, and that's the only majority in Europe, of course, from the whole group of human beings. Thank you. Thank you. I have to see this in the middle, but I can show you that we still have big the possible village in this discussion, you have four small work groups, and there you have much more in the but my mother is not the matter. I understand what's going on when it's a big deal. It's a big deal. I have to understand what the meaning of the difference, but we're very fortunate. And I think we are all in a very way. But I think we are all in a good discussion. Sometimes I'm happy that we have had this discussion. Sometimes I'm also in a very good discussion.
Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 